have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Okay, we are the final phase. Okay. And um, at the final phase, we're going to discuss some things about after development. So someone developed the website. Website is clear. Everything is done. That's the ideal situation. So launching your website. When you launch the website or when you launch a product or the, in this case, website, you need to inform your customer about that. Yeah. This is not the task of your developer. Keep that in mind. Some people think, oh, they create a website, they need to also promote it. No, this is not their task. Keep that in mind. So what you need to keep in mind is this is you. You already have your website is developed. Already test everything. You need someone that promote it. So when you hire someone or a company that promote your website, let me tell you one thing. You do not need the company. You can hire one person or two person. They can uh, promote it for you. You do not need it. So you need a contract between you and the company where you talk about promotion. Or you promote it where your customers are. You can do it yourself. But if you hire someone, you need a contract for them. It's like a marketing contract. And it's important to know who they are. It's important to put who you are. It's also important to put in a contract the price. There are some con companies out there that provide marketing services and they have their own terms. Yes, but sometimes you can say, hey, you know what? I do not agree with the terms. Can you offer me a contract? You understand that? You can do that. And it's up to them if they can offer or not. Most of the time they have it. If they don't have it, then they don't have it. Look for someone else. Because if you have everything on uh, in a contract, it should be okay. Yeah, I'm not sorry. I'm not saying it's always okay, but it should be okay. When you hire a marketing company, it can be a personal company. Do not trust someone that say, "Hey, I have a team that can do that." You don't need a team to promote it. Most of everything went automatic. Yeah, you just need to plan it. You can help a team to develop the promotion materials. That's another stuff, but you do not need a team. Keep that in mind. So. You have this, and okay? um, it's nicer stuff. Okay? When you have a contract, when you put the names, what the price is, what they are going to do, and it's important to know what they are going to do. What is the service? Are they going to create promotion materials? Are they going to create promotion materials every week? Are they going to create promotion materials every day? Are they going to create pr promotion materials every month? It's important to know what kind of promotional material are they going to use. So these are the services that they are providing. But what about the cost? Let's say you use Google Ads of other things in order to promote your website. How do they inform you about the cost? You understand? How do they determine the cost? Because sometimes you see some people that say, hey, the cost we will have a budget of 600. Well, they use it for ads. Well, they only use 500 for ads to meet their goal. So it's important to know what they are really doing with your money. Yeah. And those things, it's better to put it in a contract. If you don't, then you have a problem. You're losing money and they are winning more money from you. Yeah. So there are other things you need to put in a contract, but these are the most important part, in my opinion. So. When you hire someone, you need to make sure what they are doing, what is the price and where is your money going to and what do they promise? What kind of results do they promise? Keep in mind, sometimes people make big promises, but they do not deliver. Let's say you have 100 um, visitor of 1000 visited on your website. Yes, they can show you that, but you can also pay another company for two dollars and you get random um, visitor on your website. They meet the requirement, but you pay them much more. So it's important to know that they show you the result. And if they say 100 visitor, okay, visitor, clients, customer, customer in my neighborhood, not random customer. Because sometimes you have some scammers out there that say, hey, you know what? I can promise you I can deliver 1000 visitor per month on your website or 1 million. Doesn't matter. 1 million is too much. Let's say 1000, 10,000. 
you can just go to another website and pay the company of ten dollar or five dollar and they can send you traffic on your website but it doesn't mean it's the traffic that you really need you understand what i mean so keep that in mind so some marketing they uh, make promises and they did not keep the they keep the promises but it's not clear what kind of promises they are making so what i'm saying is for you you'll be like thousand visitor okay but does it mean thousand thousand customer so keep that in mind so when you have a contract you can put those things in it if they promise that make sure that they put it in the contract yeah so that's about it for this part okay if you have question about the launching of marketing what contact that you need just go on the discord go here law center press the link go here law center go on discord and ask me directly and if you want to support the stream you can press donate now and you can donate to the stream you can support us i'll appreciate it so make sure you donate i'm waiting and if you want to support me make sure you buy me coffee coffee is three dollars so you can press here buy me coffee it can be three dollar one dollar doesn't matter buy me coffee i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be